Good morning, winners. This is Sasha Fearless, here to let you know that you are beautiful and good enough to accomplish anything that you want in life. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some box braids on my guest Chris today. So I'm starting out with blow dried hair and the products I'm using are the Pure Lock and Twist Gel and the Shine and Jam Magic Fingers Gel. Whenever I do any style on a man, whether it be box braids or two strand twist, I always start out with a middle part because a middle part gives a masculine look as opposed to a side part. Now I could have edited this part out, but I decided to keep it because I wanted to show you guys exactly how I part. So I'm using a mirror right now to part his hair because for some reason I always get a straight part when I use a mirror. <laughs> The foundation for this style is to have two sections in the front and two sections in the back. Even though I have a part in the back of his head, it doesn't mean he's gonna have that middle part the whole time. It's just literally a guideline just to help me, you know, to maneuver through his head. But I'm, I won't be following that part. It's just there to help me out. So what I'm doing is I'm using it to section his hair out to help me create better box parts also remember the products that i showed you guys in the beginning so on my hand right now i have the pure lock and twist gel and i also have the magic fingers shine and jam gel on my hand so the magic fingers shine and jam gel i use on the parts and the reason why i do that is to give the parts shine and luster and to also create straighter parts the lock and twist gel is what I use to sleek his hair and to, to give me that nice, beautiful hold. So if you're someone that's not used to creating box braids with the boxes, my suggestion would be to pre-suction the hair before you even start braiding, just to give you the confidence because you have that guideline. Okay, you guys, so I want you to pay attention to how his braid is turning white as I'm braiding it. Now, the reason that's happening is because the products that I'm using in his hair are mixing together, and that's what causes that whiteness. In order to fix that, I'm just gonna take a towel and just blot it out to take that whiteness away. Now, mind you, even if I don't use a towel, if, you, if I put him under a dryer, it's going to dry clear. It's going to take the whiteness away anyway, but I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Also, I'm clipping each braid at the root because I want it to lay flat. I just love the look that it gives, clipping the roots. I clip the roots when I do my locks, and I love that, and so I do it for my braids too, sometimes.
when I do the front of the head, the part that's important the most is on top where people can actually see. So I section that out first and then I start from there and I start sectioning the bottom parts because the top part is the most important part. So as I'm parting out this specific section of hair, I found that the part in the back wasn't matching up with the part in the front because this one braid was getting in the way. So to easily fix that, I'm just going to take this braid out, comb it out, and then resection it and go from there.
So after I'm done braiding his hair, I'm just taking out all the clips out because now I have it at the desired flatness that I need. <laughs> after this process, I'm just going to take some mousse, mousse his hair down, put a do-rag on, and put him under a hooded dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes or until his hair completely dries. <laughs> 